So in this lesson, we'll go ahead and connect our elements in the interface to our coding pro interface. So I'm going to go to View Controller Swift. And what I usually like to do, especially when I'm teaching, is I like to clean up this interface to make sure I've got the least amount of code. So I'm going to get rid of all of those comments on top. I'm going to clear my did receive memory warning for now because we don't worry about that. And I'm going to get rid of these uh, comments in the view did load. Of course, you cannot remove the view did load uh, because we need that part. So let's go ahead to our helper menu. And in here, I'm going to go ahead and load my storyboard. And from my storyboard, I'm going to say hold control and drag. And this one, I'm going to call it game view. Uh, my label, I'm going to call it timer label. And finally, I have a button that I can go ahead and say this one is actually reset action. Just keep in mind that when you want to make actions, you have to change the connection type to action and connect. And that's about that. Now we have all three elements hooked up to something, the game view, the time label, and the action. Uh, you don't need to set up a separate uh, IB outlet for your button simply because whenever we click on it, it will run this action. And I can go ahead to my editor mode to my storyboard. And I want to mention that if you come up here, if you are not very familiar with how Xcode works, now we can go to our view controller and you can see all of those connections showing up in the connections, which is game view is connected to game view, timer label to timer label, and reset action to here. If you accidentally removed one of these or an error happened, you can just reconnect them. Game view is the game view, timer label is timer label, and reset action is on this button on touch up inside. So which is the default behavior of all the buttons. So now we got all of that. I'd like to run my code once now or my Xcode application once now just to make sure everything is working and everything is showing up the way I expect them. So once it loads in the simulator, I should be able to see this, which is exactly what we wanted. Of course, nothing is working just yet, and that's coming up in the next few lessons.